The Nintendo Switch doesn't have a large selection of Pokemon games, they mainly just have the recently released Pokemon games and some of the N64 games with the Switch Online service. Also, once I hit 9,000 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away a $10 Nintendo eShop gift card for your Switch, so make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below after you've done that so I can enter you into the giveaway. I think straight up the first games that we need on the Switch are definitely some of the originals like Gen 1, Gen 2, and Gen 3, maybe even Gen 4, that would be kind of cool, but if they could just do what they did with the 3DS eShop, make them a digital download for $10, I'm sure tons of people will buy these games. It's really easy for Nintendo, because they've already kind of redone it for the 3DS and just put it on the 3DS eShop, so they could just do the same thing, put it on the Switch eShop, $10, I'd buy it. These are just classic Pokemon games, I think it'd be really cool for younger kids in today's world that are growing up with the Switch and weren't able to experience like the 3DS or DS because they just weren't born yet and allow them to experience some of the OG Pokemon games if they haven't already because Pokemon is one of the biggest franchises out there and there are definitely a lot of people that haven't played some of the original games and the Switch being an insanely successful console with millions and millions of sales this would be a great way for new people to experience some of the OG Pokemon games. A Pokemon spinoff that I think would be great to have on the Switch be some of the Pokemon Ranger games. I don't really have any specific ones in mind. These are some games that I haven't really played a lot of and I definitely would like to experience them. They don't cost a ton so I could buy them on the DS for the original hardware but I think it'd be pretty cool if they could just put this onto the eShop, port it over, or maybe even do like a remastered physical version. This game definitely does have some interesting mechanics to them and it involves a lot of like drawing and a lot of people kind of don't like that they kind of say it's too childish, kind of kiddish and whatever. I mean, I do kind of agree with the drawing circles part, but I've heard really good things about these games, that the storyline is really good, and that they're just really fun games, and that they're great spin-offs of the mainline Pokemon games. I think it'd be really interesting to see this on the Switch, and maybe Nintendo could just remake this game without the drawing aspect or without the weird mechanics, but it definitely is a series that I'd like to try out more, and I think it's a slept on series. Mystery Dungeon is up next, and I know that they have a Mystery Dungeon game on the Switch. I think it's Mystery Dungeon DX or something like that. I haven't played that game, but there are a lot of Mystery Dungeon games, each one of them having, you know, their pros and cons. I also haven't played a lot of these games. I very briefly have played one of the Mystery Dungeon games years and years ago, but I know that this is a series that people love. Like, this is one of the best Pokemon spinoff series out there. For the story, I've heard Gates to Infinity has amazing ratings, and people say that's one of the best and fans rate the gameplay of Explorers of Sky to be the best. I just think that this is a series that they need to touch up on more because I'm pretty sure the Switch release, the DX, did pretty well. I think people liked that and I, I've heard good things about it. I haven't heard a ton of people talk about it, but from what I've heard, it's a pretty fun game. Maybe I'll pick it up one day. I've definitely seen it at the stores a lot. So I was like, I think it's kind of cool because this is an older series. They've been out for, you know, 15-ish years or something like that. I don't know exactly, but these Mystery Dungeon games are a pretty old spin-off. I think it'd be kind of cool to revisit some of the old ones, maybe get a remastered version. Moving on to the GameCube generation of Pokemon games, I think it'd be really cool to see Pokemon Coliseum. Also, excuse the poor quality of this video. It's like 360p. It's the best one I could find on the internet. But Pokemon Coliseum is one of the most difficult Pokemon games out there, and I think it'd be great to see this game remastered with better graphics, because only way you could play this game is either on the GameCube or the Wii if you have the backwards compatible one, but even with that, you have to use AV so it's not very clear and you have to use a plug-in controller a wired controller and it's just like you have to be close to the TV and it looks great on older TVs but modern day TVs it doesn't look amazing you could definitely kind of go around these a little bit make it like an AV to HDMI or a wireless GameCube controller but like that's a whole setup that's a lot of money not to mention that Pokemon Coliseum has shot up in value recently so it's just like a whole setup you need to drop a ton of money to play this game but just imagine a remastered version a physical copy with better graphics but still running reminiscent of like this style on the Switch, like a physical little Switch cart of Pokemon Coliseum for 60 bucks. I personally would buy that. I think that would be amazing. I don't think it's far-fetched for a Pokemon game on the GameCube to be remastered because they've remastered a few GameCube games and put them on the Switch and they even brought back Pokemon Snap, made a new game from the N64. So like imagine Pokemon Coliseum, you know, like two or three or whatever. I think that'd be pretty cool. Lastly on my list, I think Gale of Darkness would also be a really cool game on the Switch. Pretty much for the same exact reasons it's Coliseum because it's really expensive, it's an AV, not a really clear game, and it's, it's an old game. I think it'd be really awesome to have this remastered. I've never played this game. 
I think it's really cool. I actually think this is the sequel to Colosseum. I'm not 100% on that, but I'm pretty sure it is. I mean, just imagine if these games were a physical copy, physical remaster, or even just like a, a digital release. I think that'd be pretty sweet. These are some games that I've heard amazing things about that they're difficult, but they're also just an extremely unique version of a Pokemon spinoff. Like the storyline is really cool, the graphics, everything about it, the gameplay is amazing from what I've heard. I haven't played them, so don't take my word from it, but let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I definitely like to see more Pokemon games on the Switch. I definitely think we lack in that area on the Switch because the 3DS had a ton of them on the eShop. I know the Switch has a pretty solid selection of Pokemon games at the moment. We have like a good amount, but we don't really have any of the OG games. It's, it's pretty much newer releases like from the Switch era, like 2017-ish and up. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and I'll see you guys in the next video.